welcome to Broken Dolly TV. I'm Gypsy, and if you thought you were gonna find me over here, well, you are right. We are taking a closer look at our Barbie Signature Looks dolls that are brand new, just dropped 2021, June, July release. And I happen to have all six of the dolls available to show you guys, so I will give you some details on them. If you missed any of the other dolls in this line that you're curious about, Go and watch the videos for those as well so you can be well versed in the details of these dolls if you are waiting for your shipments to come in. If you're waiting to order some, because I know a lot of us missed the um, release time frame when they launched on Mattel's site. And I have some tips for you guys who are in that situation as well. So stay tuned because I feel like this whole month I'm just going to be doing a lot of videos uh, centered around these dolls in this release so y'all subscribe if you ain't already okay you know how we do it what's up with this doll she is the tall barbie from this line her sculpt is named victoria this is a brand new sculpt the back of the doll's heads are stamped with 2020 so that's the year that they're saying that these sculpts were released of course it's 2021 when we the consumer actually get these dolls that's some proof for those of you who don't believe it really takes like a year for the designers to create the designs work out everything and like plan the dolls for the next year's release they have to work ahead of time to do that so first and foremost let's talk about her hair it's very long the hair goes all the way down past her waist it is extremely soft the hair is immaculate quality hair barbie extras wave one like y'all next to these guys them dolls seem like a joke okay anyway I'm, i can't even pose my other like my barbie extra dolls i can't even pose them next to these dolls because they don't even look real next to them like these guys look like real people and those guys look like mannequins next to these dolls so that's how amazing the texture of this hair is okay it's just so soft so flowy not stiff and there's no gel in this hair here no gel you know how girls back in the day used to wear their hair like late 90s early 2000s i used to wear my hair like that but we would like slick down the sides of our hair really 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 tight gel it down <laughs> clip them back behind our ears and then wear the rest of our hair just out so that's one of these hairstyles that barbie actually likes to do a lot with their dolls but it's just tied in the back here with a little tiny rubber band. So you can actually loosen that rubber band and all the hair is going to come out so that you can just have a regular middle part for her if you want to see what her hair looks like out of that style. Definitely can do it. I heard some people complaining on Amazon and also I think on Mattel's website. I can't remember for sure which. But I was reading through some of the reviews and people were saying that there were these teeny tiny little pieces of hair that were poking out in the front of the doll's head and that it looked unsightly. And I kind of see what they're talking about because I'm catching it too. But it's not that big of a deal for me because I'm used to customizing the doll so I know I can just pluck those out or cut them down so that they're not even noticeable. But people seem to be really annoyed by that. I mean, but y'all, it's a $20 doll that they really packed up like it was supposed to be a $50 doll so you can't really get stuck on that because it's a simple fix this level of quality is already kind of like wow I didn't expect that for a $20 doll so, not including her shoes her outfit is just one piece and it is an off-the-shoulder retro style white mini dress very cute i think the design is really cute even though it's super simple but it kind of has some personality i like the off the shoulder thing so i think it's very flattering and feminine looking and of course the skirt is super duper short <laughs> and she's tall so they look even shorter on her because her legs are so long so who knows maybe this thing will come down like mid thigh for the petite doll <laughs> Who knows? She's got some boots on, and these boots happen to have dun, 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 some heels. Very rare to find shoes with heels for the curvy and the tall dolls who have bigger feet. The outer part of the shoe, that seam there that looks like it's sewed into the side, goes all the way down from top to bottom. But if you look at the inside part of the shoe, the seam is much shorter 
and it looks like it even has like a zipper on the inside there. Yeah, that's how you can tell that they're not supposed to be interchangeable. And also, if you look at the toe of the shoe, they do kind of curve inward a little bit, but it's really hard to tell when you look at them that way. I decided to make my Victoria from Belgium, and her name is La Neige Jolie. La Neige just means snow in French, and Jolie means pretty in French, so I decided to give her that name because she reminds me of snow, and she's pretty. And... <laughs> This doll, to me, is like the most plainest one in this collection. I feel like she's like the stand-in for Millie, the stand-in for the typical Barbie character. Because this line has no Barbie character, they always gotta put a blonde, blue-eyed girl in there somewhere just to remind you, hey, we're still Barbie, you feel me? So I feel like she was that, you know, token Barbie character. And except she's way prettier than Barbie, of course. <laughs> And she's got even blonder hair to the point where it's like white. I love that they gave her platinum blonde hair. She's got some glassy blue eye color. And she just reminds me so much of like the cold, ice, you know, coolness. Just this whole line just reminds me of like a blizzard. I don't know why. Even though everybody's wearing short sleeves and skirts, it just I don't know. I just get like cold vibes when I see these dolls. You can see that her face, she does not have a whole lot of makeup on. She does have a very subtle lip color of like a beige pink kind of a mix. Other than that, I don't really see a whole lot going on with the face up of this doll. It's very basic, very simple. But if you're somebody who likes to repaint dolls and you sell them, I would suggest working with this head sculpt because it seems like a really good base to work with. And she does still remind me a lot, even in person, of Carl. She really does, like I don't, I don't know why, but I think it's the shape of her head, like that little pointy chin that she has, um, like an upside down triangle kind of. She just reminds me of Carl a lot. The hair is really well rooted. There's a lot of hair in here. She does not have that bizarre black scalp thing going on underneath where the root of her hair looks like it's black or brown none of that so i'm very happy about that it just looks like she just has a regular you know scalp color that matches her own hair that's what i'm used to with barbie dolls and that's what i like to see when i part their hair and also the bottom of her hair here you can see that there are actually layers cut into the hair for her so she's got a longer layer down here and then a little bit shorter layer up here so that the hair looks like it has a little bit more volume and a natural haircut. I really, really like the hair on this doll a lot. That's probably my favorite feature on the doll. So she does have a, um, a tall body type, of course. She looks so much more taller than the other characters in this line, even the boys, because she's wearing high heels. And that's probably one of the reasons why we don't see a lot of heels that Mattel manufactures for these bigger feet because at least on the tall dolls in heels are like massive, like they, they tower over everybody else. But if you are someone who collects Integrity Toys dolls, you should be used to that because a lot of the Integrity girls are already naturally very tall without their heels. And then you add on the heels and they get even taller and it's kind of just comes with the territory for a lot of those dolls. They're like 13 inches tall usually. And I say these dolls remind me so much of the Integrity Toys line, that aesthetic, that feel, and kind of like a budget version of that. So for those of you who can't even afford to look, to look at an Integrity Toys doll, man, this is a good substitute, you guys. Very good substitute. You'd be surprised what a little bit of a refined outfit and the hairstyle will do for a doll. And these small features on the face really help to make them look more realistic and more model-esque compared to the average Barbie doll. So I really love that. We're gonna do an outfit change on her. I wanna try on one of the other doll's outfits to see if it will look okay on and her. She is rocking a brand new hairstyle. I took a ponytail out from the back of her head and I threw her hair up, gave her some earrings and she's wearing the curvy doll's outfit and her original shoes that she already had on and the fun thing about this outfit is as you can see it does look very snug in the legs like it fits her pretty good and because it has a halter style top where you can tie the strap there in the back 
you can pull it up very tight or you can make it a little looser depending on how you want it to sit on the doll's body. Okay, I think she can get away with that. Granted, of course, she ain't got as much of booty to fill this thing out from the back, but it's all good. Ain't nobody gonna see all of that. Anyway, I think she can pull it off. And I think she looks really cool like this. Once I took her hair down and like restyled it, I don't know, she just gives me kind of sort of a little bit like a superhero or like a X-Men mutant vibe. I don't know why, she just does. So we have successfully changed all of the dolls into each other's clothing. And so at least this combination of the outfits seem to be able to be interchanged. I'm happy with the results. Now I am gonna go further and of course change them into other outfits that I already have in my doll's wardrobes. She surprised me the most because I thought she was like the most bland out of all of these dolls. To me, there was really not anything about this doll that stands out, that seems like a must have, that seems like she's like better than any of the other dolls. I really felt like you gotta just have her because she's part of the group. Just to make it complete, you gotta have this one. At first, that's how I felt. But after redressing her and restyling her hair, I no longer feel that way. I'm actually very impressed with the shape of her hairline. I think it's actually really pretty. And I don't know why they covered up her forehead um, with the original hairstyle that they gave to her, but she has a really pretty head shape and the hairline is pretty and I really like it. So I'm enjoying seeing her with her hair pulled back, not in her face. Then when I like pierce the ears, it just, I don't know. I just feel like she kind of came alive. So I'm very excited to see what she's gonna be looking like after I do some more sprucing and customizing. I'll be able to create a lot more content for you guys to consume while I'm experimenting with these guys. Come hang out here with us. They're definitely must-haves. My name's Gypsy. You're watching Broken Dolly TV. Have a dolly day. <laughs>